Hi friends, today we will discuss about transfer pricing. This is part of your international taxation subject. Basically, transfer pricing concept has been introduced in income tax because what multinational companies are doing is, in order to reduce their tax liability, what they are doing is, they are transferring their income to a different country or a different jurisdiction where uh, the uh, tax uh, tax liability is less. Mm. So as a as the multinational companies are having operations in different countries, uh, in nutshell, what they are doing is they are transferring their income uh, from uh, a jurisdiction where there is a high tax to a jurisdiction where there is a low tax. So their overall tax liability at the global stage uh, would be lesser. So this is a typical manipulation which the multinationals were doing. So in order to curb this kind of uh, uh, manipulation, a concept of transfer pricing has been introduced in uh, our Income Tax Act. So that uh, this would have a, a very uh, wrong impression on a cause. Uh, there is a wrong impact on a revenue collection for the government. So basically here, in order to uh, get rid of this tax erosion, government has introduced this uh, transfer pricing concept in the uh, uh, Income Tax Act. So transfer pricing will actually take care of this kind of manipulation. So there are various methods of uh, transfer pricing. Uh, we can actually go through it. One of them, first one is comprehens comparable uncontrollable price method, resale price method, cost plus method, profit split method, transactional net margin method, uh, any other method. And these are the methods through which the uh, government actually calculates the international transaction. International transaction means the transaction which is happening between a uh, a resident in India and a non-resident outside India or a non-resident uh, inside India or another non-resident outside India. So uh, the re transaction between a resident and another resident is not considered here. So one of the parties involved should be a non-resident. Okay, sir. Okay, students. Thank you.